going to start uploading all the pictures to my delivery platform. And now I use Tour Buzz. Um, I know there's a lot, you know, different um, softwares and systems and all that jazz out there. But this one's easiest for me. I've been using this from the beginning, so I just stick with it. But now I want to upload my pictures. I already uploaded all the exteriors earlier when I did them with my other camera. Uh, but now I want to upload all the ones in here into the tour buzz. And so this one takes some time. But let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to go ahead and start uploading them. Oh, I forgot. Let me take that back. Now this tour buzz, the way Matterport exports pictures, it actually uploads to the delivery platform pretty quick. It's with my other camera that it takes a very long time per picture. But as you can see down here, this will actually convert your photos to the most you know optimized format for this system. And so it is going you know relatively quick as you can see here. I'm sure if you were in a place with faster internet, this will probably zoom on through, but this is um, what it's looking like here. And now once this is actually done, and then after you know I get my floor plans back, this is how I make my interactive floor plan. Because the interactive floor plan, it requires a system to use, you know, to, to make it work. And so I use Tour Buzz to make that work. And so once this is done, I'll be able to show you that example there. So I am, I'm not able to show you how it looks like with the interactive floor plan, but as soon as I get that back and these are done uploading, I'll go ahead and start the process of showing my flow of adding media hotspots to the floor plan. All right, so now it's done uploading and processing here. This is why I always name it before I upload it. Whoops, kind of jumped too quick. I always name them before I upload them because let me tell you, when you have like 50 to 75 or more pictures, trying to you know organize it's very difficult so this just has 50 you know images being processed and will be added to my tour in the background i'm a little antsy let's go ahead and click back to tour and let's see what we got uh, for the most part they're all there and this is again why i say i you know put the labels because i'm looking at these labels you know you remember you heard me talk about why i always label everything basement you know, stuff like that is, is I want to know where it's at. So I'm not digging and hurting my brain thinking too hard. So entries obviously go first. And now I'm going to show you, you know, a little bit of my flow. You can do this or you, you don't have to do this. This is just what I do. And now this is an order. So this will be the first picture shown, second, third, fourth, etc. So as you can see, my picture starts on the front, shows a side view, the other side view, the garage, kind of going around the building here, as you can see or the house rather, house, corner, corner. Now, I go right back to the front door. That's when I show my front doors right here. And people ask, why do you do that? Well, this is why. Because my entry pictures go right after the front door. And I do that because, you know, you see the house, you see the backyard. Before you actually start seeing the pictures of the interior, I want to throw in a couple exterior door pictures just to make sense. You have the interior looking in, looking right back at the door. I can do these pictures a lot better. I do recognize that. I could have the front door open so people really visualize, you know, walking, you know, walking in the front door or coming home every day and just seeing the space there. I should actually start doing that. I do it on a lot of listings. Um, I just been getting lazy with it and I need to stop that so anyways we have the entry and now i'm gonna go ahead and jump over to the living room let's find my living rooms here i'm gonna drag all my living rooms beyond the entry uh you want to kind of have them somewhat in order so that would be my first view let's look at the fireplace last view and now following in order we go look at the eat-in kitchen um excuse me the eat-in i guess dining room in the kitchen however uh, let's do that view. Mine's go around. And I know for sure my client's going to um, hide one or two of these pictures or both. I'm just going to throw them both in there. And now that's really cool about Tour Buzz. If you're familiar with it, this is just old news. If you're not familiar with it, what's cool is I can up upload all these pictures and my client can just click on the ones they want and delete the ones that they don't want. And so it's nothing personal. Like I said, I take a ton of pictures. Uh, just for them to kind of pick and choose which 
you know, which one they want. So we had the eating kitchen looking from the living room in, kind of going around it. Now let's move on over to the kitchen. And as you can see, when I find my kitchen pictures or whatever pictures, I kind of move them all up at once and then I start sorting them. So if my last view is kind of looking at the kitchen there. Let's go ahead and start with that view, maybe that view. And then I call these like my accessories, <laughs> even though these aren't accessories or, you know, major parts of the kitchen, but like the appliances and all that. As you can see, I don't get really too deep into that because again, I'm a Matterport photographer or a virtual tour photographer, not so much architectural, but I like getting creative with my images, you know, while I'm doing the tour because I do screenshot the images for my clients right out of the virtual tour. So I try to do my best to accommodate, you know, pictures that I know that they need or that look good on Zillow. So back to what I was doing, I had the living room, eating kitchen area, into the kitchen, what is next? Let's go ahead and go to the dining room. All right, we have three, four pictures of the dining room. Let's bring that on back up here. And now what's the first picture I see of the dining room? Let's, go, I'm gonna actually use this one, even though it's opposite from the kitchen is over here, if you see my mouse closely. Walking out of the kitchen, you'd be right here. So technically this picture I'm circling will be first in regards, you know, in relation to the layouts of the uh, house. But I'm using this first because it looks great. Maybe jump over here like that. This one I'm getting rid of. So the one that I'm getting rid of instantly, I just put it all the way down at the bottom. And you see I'll start putting a whole bunch more down there. But dining room, dining room, that looks great. I probably only need these two. I think this one's kind of overkill. Let's get rid of him too. Boom. All right. And now on this main level floor here, we have that office. In this case, the homeowners were using it or they use it as a kid's play area, but this can also be used as an office or a den, whatever. So have the picture of entering it, having the one picture kind of showing the rest of it. And that's all we got there. Is that the rest? Yes, going to an entry here. Now I'm not sure what entry I'm gonna use. I forgot I took this one. I'm gonna put them both here. And then when I preview the tour, that's when I would decide which one I'm gonna keep, which one I'm gonna get rid of, if any. Anyways, we got the den, got the den, and now we have our basement photos. So I always like doing a photo that kind of breaks the floors. You know, in this case, we're going to the basement. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one because it would be weird if you're looking at an office and the next picture is like the basement. You're like, wait, did we switch floors? Where are we at? Is this, you know, area on the main floor? So I put a little break, show some stairs, and then I kind of work my way down. Here we go, here's one picture. That one's looking dark. That one's looking real dark. I'm not sure if this, this could be a picture that did not get edited. But anyways, I'll put them both here for now. Boom, here. Okay, and now, I didn't take too many in the basement. I think I was yapping too much, talking too much, and didn't take too many. Okay, so I actually, before I deliver this, I need to hop back down there. And just get a few more pictures, maybe get a different angle. But we got the bathroom, got the basement kitchenette, the basement bathroom. We went the bedroom. This is the first picture looking in, so I'm gonna keep that. I may just keep this one. I mean, we see this is, yeah, this one I think brings more confusion. Bring them down there. If you guys heard, that's where these are gonna be purged. Kinda like that angle though. Kinda looks good. Hmm. For this one, I'm gonna keep three three pictures for it. Kind of do there, catty corner, and I'll keep that one. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. The realtor may delete them as she sees fits. Anyway, so that's all in the basement. If you remember, it was just that big family room, the kitchenette area, the bathroom, and of course that one bedroom that was down there. And now there was some unfinished storage space, but I know for this particular client, we usually purge those pictures, so I'm not gonna waste my time. So that's it on the most lower level floor. So again, I wanna use a picture of the stairs to kind of provide a different break and the picture there show that we're moving on up. So I'm gonna use a, another picture of the upstairs, upstairs staircase. And then I'll use this picture of a landing uh, just cause it looks good. And now these two pictures, I don't really like how they look here in the thumbnail version. Um, hmm. 
I'll go ahead and use this one to kind of show. Actually, I'm going to wait for a second. I'm going to start doing the bedroom. So the upstairs has a laundry, but I don't want to start with that because we're upstairs. Let's start with this. Yeah, that's great. And then since this is right outside the door, I'm going to put the laundry. I kind of want to show a break. After the laundry, we have the hallway. Okay, this is going down the long hallway. And now we have this bedroom, that's in order. They're using this as an office, which was nice. That's in order. This I feel like is not in order. Maybe it is, let me think here. Bedroom. Oh, okay, I see, I'm, see, I'm confusing myself here. That's first picture, second picture, and that's the third picture. So I guess I did three here. Um, this needs to go down. So, oh, look at that, I almost forgot. That's why it's important to have everything labeled. Now, I forgot to add the half bath picture on downstairs. So let me go ahead and add that just, doesn't matter where, I'll put it here next to the office, after the office, but before the staircase showing that we were going down. Going back to where I were, we're going upstairs. You know that by the picture of the upstairs, upstairs landing, bedroom, bedroom, the laundry, the hallway. So now this is in order. Right here on this hallway is bedroom, bedroom. On the other side, bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. And then we got the primary bedroom here. Actually, probably will edit just all this out here. This should actually go here. Okay. All right. It's kind of confusing me there because on the left-hand side is a primary bedroom, and on the right-hand side is this bedroom right here. So I want to make sure that's all in order there. Um, looks great. Whoops, I need the picture of walking in the door of the primary, primary angle there, have an angle there, have an angle there, turn around, walk into the bathroom, bathroom, that's all you need there. And now there is an upstairs, be upstairs bathroom. And so because this is ending with an ensuite, I'm gonna put this in between there probably confusing a lot of people there, but you will create a flow as you go. Okay, and all those look good there. That's the last bedroom. Remember these that I kind of threw down here to purge? I just select them all. I click delete selected, and those are gone. All right. Now let's go ahead and preview this and to see what it's going to look like here. And again, I none of this information is filled out. I don't have the floor plan, um, the square footage, all that. And so this is what it looks like on the, uh, the delivery platform, like this. Scroll on down. You can see this, this you know, I really like this. Kind of see the neighborhood, um, seeing what's near you. Probably not gonna, look. okay, here we go. Kind of shows just what's around there. You know, if it's car friendly, quiet, what's the vibe, all that jazz. Not sure if people use it. I like it though. So it stays. You see the virtual tour right in between here under the virtual tour and above the photos is where you see the floor plan once I get that. And then the pictures are just right here. It kind of plays on a slideshow. I just pause it as I'm just kind of going through um, the pictures here. And I'm just kind of taking a glance. Let me see. This car right here is when I was here. Uh, a family showed up, two cars worth of family showed up to start viewing the house for the listing. This market is hot here. And so all week when I'm doing a house, I'm either arriving there and the house just sold, or if I'm arriving there and they're trying to do showings, or I have to be rushed in there because somebody wants to put in an offer. It's been nuts, but I'm definitely not complaining because a couple months ago the market was not like this. And so again, I wanna show it's kind of yapping here. So as I was talking about earlier, you're kind of going around the house. Do you see? You're seeing all the exterior of the house. Okay. And then right before I go indoors, I start doing the front door pictures. Does that make sense? You see the outside pictures? I don't want this picture to be the living room. I want you to kind of know where you're going. That's why the front door, front door, it's like you literally just walked in. And now you do see the difference in quality with my pictures. This is with the camera. And this is with my Matterport camera, okay? And so the quality is definitely different. You can definitely see the difference in quality with the picture. 
Um, just most realtors don't mind, okay? Different markets, they probably would. Um, you may have to actually use a DSLR on all your shoots to take your interior pictures. But again, that's for more advanced. And once you know your client, you'll be able to see what they want to do. That's cool. I like this one more than that. This one is just extremely boring. I'm probably going to purge that. Probably keep that one, I guess, even though it's not the best. I should have stood back a little bit more to show this staircase more prominently. Fireplace. Should have had it more towards looking to the right. Less of this and more of here, but we're good. I already talked about the fireplace. Not bad. That one's great. Looks good. And I'm assuming she's, you know, my client's probably going to maybe keep that, get rid of it, get rid of it. But I provide options. And so you should too. You know, these pictures aren't horrible at all. Again, it's people who's a, you know, architectural or real estate photographer. You know, I'm sure their pictures or quality, their angles will be a lot different than mine because I call myself a virtual tour creator or a Matterport photographer, not an architectural photographer. I like pointing that out and saying that often because I do get comments every once in a while. People tell me the quality of my photos or my editing or what, what have you. And so I just remind people about that. So anyways, yeah, I'm just going through the pictures, make sure, making sure they all look good. They look, I hate that. I'm getting rid of that. See, <laughs> that's why you have to go through and actually see for yourself. Where's that basement do? Okay, get rid of him. And now I'm just kind of quickly going through these, you know, for the sake of this video. But once I'm done, obviously before I deliver this, there's a few more pictures I need to add. Maybe um, add some brightness of some of these photos. But for the most part, we're looking pretty good. Not too bad. I... I should have done this bathroom a little bit better, but we're good to go. Boom, that's all she wrote here. All right, so that's it. That's basically how you, you know, once you receive your Matterport tour back from Matterport after they're done processing it, you know, I, of course, I go through there first, screenshotting all the pictures from the tour like I did, um, finding all my great angles that I want. I download the pictures and once Matterport send those back to me, that's when I actually edit all of those. I upload them back to my, or excuse me, upload them to my delivery platform. I go right back to my Matterport system and I start deleting all the scan points that I do not need in the tour. Because as you guys can see here, there's a whole bunch of scan points in this tour that I did not need. And now it just feels a lot more cleaner, um, a lot more user friendly at that. And you can just navigate with ease around this building without clicking 15 times just to head to the kitchen. Took me four clicks and I'm already here. Before my version, before I edited, you know, you seen it was like 15 clicks to get in here. And so you want to clean it up because your work needs to look professional. So you want to clean it up so you, you know, look like one. Because these tours, you know, when you have them out, you never know who's looking at them. It could be a realtor who wants to use you, or it could be somebody who's never heard of Matterport, and now they're very interested. So you want to make sure that your tour just looks clean. And then when you're done, you click, you simply click, you know, publish, which I already did, and you're off to the races. So that's all we got. Once we get the floor plan up, I will go ahead and do the video to show you how to add media hotspots to your floor plans to create an interactive virtual tour like I showed you earlier.